hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to bind RS into a data list tag using JavaScript and here we got the output of that code notice when I mouse over we got the small drop down symbol see here we got the arrays are binded into this data list tag using JavaScript if you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. I am using Notepad++ for this video tutorial. Notice in this Notepad++ contains a simple HTML code with some header tags h1, h2 and horizontal line. Now after the horizontal line, I am adding data list tag id is equals to dl sports. Let's close the data list element. About the data list, I'm adding a simple HTML input tag. Input type is equals to search. And the second property, I'm adding the list. In this list property, I'm adding the data list ID, which is DL Sports. I'm closing the input tag element. So after adding the data list and input controls, the next step, I'm writing the script. In the script tag, I'm adding the JavaScript functionality to bind the arrays into this data list element. Variable array sports is an object new array array sports array starts with 0 is equals to between double quotes cricket semicolon one rugby football running and the last sports list I'm adding a four boxing let's bind this address into this data list tag for that I'm using for loop for variable i is equals to zero i is less than this variable array sports length property i plus plus after that now i'm binding these arrays into this data list document dot get element by id between double quotes i'm adding the data list id which is a dl sports dot inner html plus is equals to but in single quotes, I'm adding option tag small like this. Option, I'm closing the option tag, semicolon. The option, the value is equal to single quotes plus plus. Now between this plus plus, I'm adding the variable array sports. That's it, we have binded these arrays into this data list element. Let's save this file. We'll check the final results on the browser. And here we got the output of that code. Notice when I mouse over, we got the small drop down symbol. See, here we got the arrays are binded into this data list tag using JavaScript. That's it.